So I want a display case for my trains. Looking on Amazon. Wow. There's got to be a better option than that. How hard can it be? Eh, it does have a glass case on it. Or glass lid, glass something. Eh, nice corners. Ridge sides. But still, I just want a display case for my trains. Okay, so display case. How hard can it be? Well, I'm about to find out. I went and picked up some 10 foot pieces of 1x3. I think it's pine. Kind of a finished look to it, but I'm into stuff that's a little bit darker than that. So, I wonder what I can do with those. Yeah, let's find out. Mm, red oak. That's darker. So, I got the old paintbrush out. So we'll put a couple coats of the stain on this wood that I got. And then we'll get into cutting her up, making a shelf unit. Again, how hard can it be? Okay, staining wood. How hard can it be? Paintbrush, stain. Gooper on there. Nice even coat. That's starting to look pretty good if you ask me. Like I said, how hard can it be? Probably a close up of my shirt right now. Make sure it's all nice and evened out. Now we'll sit and let it all dry. Okay, so I think I got everything I need. I got a plan, which you guys can kind of sort of see. Ah, ink on paper never shows up too well. But it's just a shelf. Uh, six pieces across, two up and down. Should be simple enough. I got my reading glasses so I can see. Pencils so I can make lines. Measuring tape so I can measure it, make sure they're all right. And of course, safety glasses. Why would I need safety glasses with a pen? Pencil? Well, gotta cut them to the right size, so we're gonna borrow one of Amy's tools. I'm not gonna tell her, but we're just gonna do it. All right, see you in a bit. So again, I got all my pieces of wood. I got 12 pieces. They're one by threes, stained with red, I think it's red oak. I just like the dark color. So, how hard can it be? All I gotta do is cut things down to the same length, all the time, many times. See if I can get three shelves made out of it. All right, see you in a bit.
Okay, so I got all the pieces cut up, kind of set out, and now I gotta try to figure out what part's what. Well, it's not that hard, I guess. But I also did some spacers. So as you can see these little things right here. Those are three and a half inches each. Let's put those in between the shelves, both ends, squeeze it all together, and Bob's your uncle. So we get this all screwed together and see what it looks like. Can't be that hard, can it? So there we go. How hard can it really be? Well, again, it squared up is a little bit of a challenge, but not hard. But there it is. My shelf unit. Just need a few more screws in it and a back. But it's coming together. Again, how hard can it really be? All right, guys, I put some railroad cars and engines and stuff on there, but there's the display case. Not too hard at all to make. I figure if I can do it, anybody can. Got a little bit of touch up to do with some stain, and I want to put a back on it. Other than that, pretty close to being done. Cool. How hard can it be anyway? So they might be a little hard to see on the camera, but got three of them all made up. So like I said, I just got to put backs on them. How hard can that be? All right, a little bit of touch up with the stain where I had to cut the pieces, but that's pretty straightforward. All right, see when we get backs on these. Okay guys, so finished product of how hard can it be? Made my own little shelves for the layout. Display my uh, locomotives or rolling stock or whatever. So the back I put on this one was black, obviously. And on this one I put a white background. Now what do you guys think is actually better? Because I got a third one I've got to make. I kind of like the looks of the black, but the white stands out a lot better. I think for what you're putting on it so let me know in the comments what you guys think white black hey we can even do a different color if you want what do you think anyway this kind of wraps it up guys how how hard is it if I can do it anybody can do it, it was a fun project and I can't wait to get these up on the wall and start displaying my locomotives so bye for now, guys. Bye. So there we go. Dip, dip, dip. That's all, folks. Oh, boy, I can't talk. Go ahead, talk. You, you can say something. You, you've got this project. It's not hard. It's just a camera. All right, try again. <laughs> That's kind of neat. Until I put it on the white backdrop, I never knew there was a guy in there before. Huh, <laughs> cool. Anyway, back to the video. Okay, say it again, Sam.